Namaste. I'd like to take you through a variation of the moon salutation, or Chandra Namaskar. This is a good practice to replace the sun salutation, especially if you don't want to put pressure on your wrists and shoulders in Chaturanga Dandasana, or if you just want a less heating variation of this type of movement. Begin at the front of your mat, feet parallel, arms down by the sides. Take a moment to find your balance. And now inhale as you sweep the arms up, bring, bring the palms a touch. Exhale as you fold forward and bring your abdomen to your thighs, bending your knees as much as you need so your abdomen touches the thighs. Okay, now we'll inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, and reach the arms forward, squatting as deeply as possible, preferably with the heels on the floor. And then as you exhale, fold forward again, relaxing the neck, but lifting the hips up. At the very end of exhale, pause the breath as you step the left foot back and bring that knee down. Once your left knee is down, you'll inhale to sweep the arms up again. As the arms move up, sink your hips forward and down. And then on an exhale, we'll stretch back into downward facing dog. Your next inhale then, We'll rock forward to the hands and knees and focus on lengthening the area between the sternum and navel. As you exhale, sit back in the child's pose. Sitting on the heels, rib cage to thighs, forehead to the floor. And now we'll inhale, sweeping the arms up and lifting off the heels. Very top of inhale, palms touch. And this is the halfway point. And now we just go in reverse. So as you exhale, return to child's pose. As you inhale, lift back up to the hands and knees. And then as you exhale, stretch back to down dog. At the very end of this exhale, pause the breath. And during that pause of the breath, step the left foot forward now and bring the right knee down. Once your right knee is down, inhale and sweep the arms up, but sink the hips forward and down. Exhale as you bring the hands back to the floor and step forward. Inhale into that deep squat. Exhale as you fold forward, lifting the hips. And you inhale as you sweep the arms up. And exhale as you bring the arms down. So you can go through one to maybe five or six repetitions. This is especially good in the summertime months, or like I mentioned, if you don't want to put pressure on your wrist or shoulders in Chaturanga Dandasana. I hope you enjoy. Om Shanti.